everyone welcome back to the channel of ecoholics so in today's video i will be talking about the keynesian theory of investment since we all know keynesian views are very much focused towards the investment bringing fluctuations in the output of the economy so keynesian theory has a belief that investment is highly volatile and even in investment if we talk about the two type of investment one is autonomous and the other is induced the autonomous investment is highly volatile because it is based on the expectation of investors or the businessman who want to invest in the capital stock because of this reason he said the thing that investment is going to be that component which is going to bring a lot of fluctuations in the output and is capable of bringing business cycles into the economy so it's a very important part to understand his beliefs on the theory of investment all right so according to keynesian a person who wants to invest into the capital because capital investment is a really important process of any economy for progress so if a person have a money to invest into the capital stock all right so he he will always be having two options so either he can invest his money in the capital to get profit from using that capital or the other option is he can give his money into the market and his money is going to get him the interest rate so if a very simple example if a person get 10% interest rate from the market on the given funds whereas the profit rate he is going to get from investing in that capital is just 6% he would never want to invest in the capital why would he first invest in the capital and then will work on the production process to get the expected to get that profit rate which is even less than what interest rate is giving him he will simply put his money in the bank and will be earning the interest and will be happily living but the thing is if the rate of profit he is going to get after investing in the capital is greater than the interest rate he is getting in the market he will always be attracted towards the investment right because of this reason according to keynesian theory the investment depends on the two factors so we have factors determining investment over here what are those the one is rate of interest rate of interest is simply that market interest rate which the person is going to get from the market the another is marginal efficiency of capital now when we read this term we feel like oh it's something very big but it's very simple thing to understand so what is marginal efficiency of capital since you are investing your money into the capital and you are going to earn some profit from investing there so marginal efficiency of capital is nothing it's just that expected rate of profit you will get when you invest in that one extra unit of capital so by investing the money into that one unit of capital how much expected rate of profit you think you're going to get so if mec let's say mec is greater than interest rate we first work with the extreme cases so let us say interest rate is greater than mec mec is marginal efficiency of capital the person is never going to invest so investment is never going to happen in that case but if interest rate is less than mec what is going to happen the person will always be willing to invest in the capital stock right so till the point mec is going to be greater than market rate of interest this person will keep on adding to the capital stock so he will be stopping at the point where interest rate is equal to mec over here so this is the point where we are going to have the optimum level of capital stock according to the keynesian theory of investment so let us see now the thing is how are we going to find mec interest rate i know i can get it from the internet i know what is going to be the interest rate today or even i can make expectations about it in the future but how am i go going to determine this mec so it's very simple so we just need 
two things to determine NEC. We need supply price, which is nothing, which is the cost of capital. Because if you are purchasing capital, you have to pay a cost of it. Even if you are renting it, you are going to pay some cost for it. It's not going to be free. The money you are investing basically into the capital is my supply price. Then we have the yields for, from the investment. So if we are investing money into the capital stock, we are going to make revenue over that from that. Right, this revenue is not going to be like this. Ki I invested in capital stock today, I'm going to make revenue tomorrow and after that it stops. It's a flow of revenue which is going to happen. So I will invest today, maybe I keep getting the returns from that investment over a period of 5 years or maybe over a period of 8 years, who knows that. But we are going to get a stream of revenues. So when am I going to find those revenues? I need to find their present value today. Because I am making an investment in the present scenario. I am making the investment today. So I need to find the present value of my revenue from the investment in the present value. So how to get MEC? Since MEC is nothing, it has to be equal to interest rate at the optimum level of investment. So it's very simple to get. See, what I need is, I need my supply price, which is my cost of capital, equals to my expected revenue from the investment. So I, because I told you that I need my revenues to be in present value. So I can write discounted revenue or you can also write yields from the investment right now supply price is very simple now if i'm getting the revenue or if i'm getting the profit in the first year like after employing the capital today i'm getting the profit next year so it will be r1 let us denote the profit I'm going to make next year after using the capital for one year by R1. So how to find its present value? Divide with 1 plus R. After that, if I'm now I talk about after two years, like using the investment, using the capital for two years and I make the revenue R2. To convert, to find its present value, I need to divide with 1 plus R square. So following the same procedure, if I'm using my capital for n number of years, the present value of revenue you make in nth year today is given by Rn, the revenue in that year, divided by 1 plus R raised to power n. So if I equate these things, the I will be, I know R1, I know R2, I know Rn, I know S. I just don't know the value of R which is my interest rate over here, right? So interest rate is denoted by I or R. If the inflation is not present, they both are equal, right? So over here, when I will be solving this, I will be getting the value for R, which is nothing, which is the value of MEC because interest rate is equal to marginal efficiency of capital at the optimum level of investment. So this is only what Keynesian theory of investment says that how to find the capital stock, which is going to be the optimum level through equating the supply price and the MEC. If you want to see more such videos, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Also let us know in the comment section below the other topics on which you want videos from us. Thank you everyone for watching.